Hey guys, we are on a short little camping trip here uh, at Fort DeSoto and wanted to give everybody a, a quick uh, tour of our camp site and our new runaway camper that we've been spending so much time trying to get uh, organized and customized. And so, uh, so we'll be quick because I think the storms might be coming. <laughs> um, so these are our really neat little uh, I'm gonna rock. Yep, little uh, chairs that rock and comfy. So comfy with our Arctic coolers. Yep. Keep our stuff nice and cold. And then this is pretty cool. This is our fire disc. We use this for all of our cooking. It uses a propane tank. Uh, we've got just a little propane. This time we brought a fan because we're in Florida and it's quite toasty. Um, we have this nice awning that is uh, 14 feet, goes out a little further with some lights in there. And it goes over the top of the RV. So it keeps us a bit shaded and also keeps uh, any direct rain off the air conditioner on the front of the unit. Right. And then these suction cups are the coolest little things ever. So we usually use more when we're here for a couple days, we'd use it for towels and such. Um, that's pretty much on the outside. Uh, inside, we will come in here and uh, first we start with uh, our little mirror and key holder. I guess I'll go here first and then we'll go through. So this is inside. Our um, bed is up in couch mode right now. So this will eventually fold out and uh, go to probably about here. Um, but we like to keep it in couch mode and sometimes we bring it down just a little bit. but. And then we have these really cool fairy lights that we have throughout the whole the whole camper. Uh, and then these are our curtains that are blackout, so when we wake up in the morning, they keep all the light out. <laughs> and then we have, you wanna come in here, Joel? And sure, I'll come. Be like Vanna? Yes, come and show us what you've done. So when we got the runaway, it came with a single shelf up top that's only eight inches deep and we wanted a deeper shelf um, we could have had them install a shelf but we opted to not do that um, so we installed this shelf uh, which is 12 inches deep because of us i would space. say joel installed the shelf he we did a great it. job thank you made it and installed it and i just help with the design <laughs> <laughs> and we tried to make it look like the top shelf so that everything is kind of tied together to look factory made um, and the unit comes with one AC strip in the corner that has a plug that goes outside so you can plug in to power at the campsite. But we didn't want to have to fumble around with plugging stuff in and out of that. So for charging our devices, I made this kind of cool USB charging docking station, which has four USB chargers that ultimately wire over there and wire into this USB hub. Um, off that USB hub, we can charge four devices and ultimately we'll end up uh, also powering our fairy lights on the ceiling. So it's great because your devices sit right there, they plug right there, and um, it's easy and nice and neat. And then we had extra space below that, so I built another shelf. Um, these are kind of double purpose ottoman. I'm not sure who decided to call them ottomans, but that's what it's called. <laughs> so when we're sitting in couch mode, we can put our feet up. Put your feet up, and it happens to be our suitcase. So you put your clothes in there, and then uh, your feet go on top of that. So that works out really well. And then a tote in the middle here for blankets and whatnot and such. The auto one for me, for my uh, my clothes. And then we said, well, we got this space below this shelf. What do we do with it? And uh, we've spent a lot of time thinking about how to design the camper and lay it out the way we wanted to. So with that space below with like, well, we could store our shoes underneath there and the broom and various things. And ultimately we decided that we typically don't bring our shoes in the camper. So um, maybe we could do something in terms of extra storage. So that's what we did. So thanks to Hobby Lobby, they have these really cool 10 by 10 sliding shelves or trays. So we've got three sliding trays that will slide in and out and we can store our snacks and whatever else we may want to store uh, in those underneath there. And they slide it out, and ultimately there is still some space. If you wanted to put your shoes in here, you could certainly do that. Um, but the whole goal really was to 
find a way to use like every square inch. And I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, we do have, it's funny, it's only four by eight. We get an extra tote. <laughs> we have nothing in we it. We have nothing to put There's in it. There's a box of Kleenex in there right now. <laughs> so, so I'm not sure what we'll do with that. But we'll, we'll end up filling it up. But. I'm sure we will. And then we'll Oh, and these cool little things. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So these totes up there, bring one of those. Nope, this is one. Yeah. No, nope, bring down mine because mine has oh, the cool little. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> these are from 31 and uh, they're just a little uh, bathroom. What do you call Cat it? Caddy. Caddy, yeah. yeah. But look at that cute little camper that's embroidered on it. So, okay, go ahead. So, and last but not least, you know, once we installed everything, we had the fairy lights and they're great at night. It lights it up just fine. We can see everything, but the shelf was kind of dark and you couldn't really see stuff on the shelf really well. So we wanted to put some under shelf lighting up here. And we started with like stick on Velcro lights. They were tap lights and battery powered and they, they would fall off as we were traveling down the road and you had to turn each one on and off separately and they weren't quite as bright. So we bought these super low profile lights and up here, there's a motion sensor and they turn on and off via motion sensing. So I can turn them on or turn them off. And at night, if they're too bright, you can dim them down by holding your hand over top of there. It'll dim or get brighter. And it's got bright. And it's making dimmer. So you can really kind of customize the front of the lighting based on what you want. Turn them on, turn them off. And they work really well. And even though they're so low profile, they're still screwed into the wood so they won't come out as we're driving down the road. Um, and they don't fall off, you don't bump into them. So really a good lighting solution. And what's really cool about this trip is we decided at 11.30 that we wanted to come um, go camping for the night. And since we had everything already in the camper, ready to go, we were on the road by 12.30. Yeah. So and that's having everything- And that's lunch in between. Yeah, having everything in our little camper um, has been great. Yep. So. And we did also install uh, some stick-on waterproof, you know, kind of a wood floor. Um, it comes with a vinyl floor, which is okay, but we wanted to add it and make it a bit more special. The whole goal was to make it a destination. It's only 32 square feet, but we wanted to actually want to be inside here because it was comfortable and cozy and Oh, and inviting. what we didn't say is that we have named our camper Mo, Mo, which stands for Mini Oasis. Yes. So that was the goal, was to create a mini oasis someplace that, although it was small, you really wanted to, to be inside here and hang out and just enjoy the space. So. so this is the four by eight cool camp, by the way. Um, the smaller one. Smaller one, yeah. Four um, by eight. It's forty-six inches high in the middle. Everybody says, "Does it pop up?" And nope. Says, nope. <laughs> so slide out. Nope. And so you know what we did here at the campsite is what we love the cool camp because it's really light. So when you get to the campsite, you can configure it however you want. So we backed it in, we unhooked it, and we turned it sideways. So we're looking at the back of the campsite at mangroves and a little bit See, of water. So now we have a nice view out here. Instead of just Instead looking at your of, neighbors. And, right. Yeah, so that's kind of our, our standard way to do it is back it in and then turn it so that when you're sitting down you have absolutely the best view. Um, so yeah, it's it's perfect. We store it in the garage. Use it when you want to. And as Amy said, it was a spur of the moment. Hey, let's go camping. And less than an hour later, we were on the road. So. We've really liked it. I uh, hope you like the video and the quick little walkthrough. And uh, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain, so <laughs> we're good thing we've got it in here. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Yeah, bye. bye.